I tried to sit down and film this video um, like a few minutes ago, but I felt like I was way too much in my head. So I think doing a little bit of multitasking, like doing makeup and talking, will help me just not get too much in my head. I was going to film a video today. I wanted to like vlog or something, but honestly, I don't feel like being on camera and like showing my day-to-day -day life unless I'm talking about what I'm really going through. I'm not just gonna say like I'm going through it and I'm, I'm going through things. Like I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what is happening and what is happening is that I'm going through a breakup. Um, my relationship of almost six years ended a little while ago and it feels weird to keep posting like good times that have been happening recently when a lot a lot of sad times have been happening as well and I felt weird for a while like making a YouTube video about it just because I feel like a lot of people you know have opinions on relationships and um are always gonna have like something to say especially when people like break up but Ethan and I have so much love for each other and there's no bad person in this breakup there's no bad blood there's no anger between us like it's just we only have love for each other we were together since we were 17 and now we're about to be 24 and you know in that time people change everyone changes everyone you know it grows up sometimes people become different and people start to want different things it's frustrating it's unfair it's confusing it doesn't make sense a lot of the time it makes me really angry why that happens um because i never really thought that that would happen with us but people do change and sometimes that causes you to have arguments and and butt heads a lot of the time and that can be very draining on people and relationships aren't supposed to drain you relationships are supposed to fill you up and we both felt very drained because you love someone so much and you want to make the other person happy, but you also want to make yourself happy, and it's just frustrating. But Ethan and I grew up together, and we love each other so much, and all this breakup is, is just love between us. But right now, it's just not our time. I told you guys I'm having a day, so this, this is happening today. First step in a breakup is feel your emotions. Feel your emotions and deal with your emotions, and let them flow through you, because you don't want to suppress them. I let myself cry. Even if I don't know why I'm crying, like, I just let, I let it go because holding it inside is not doing me any good. I have felt so many different emotions and I just remind myself that this is a process that I'm going through and I'm going to let myself go through it and feel it because that's the only way that I'm going to heal. Woo! <laughs> So like I said, all this breakup is, is is love and all Ethan and I need right now is just love because this is really, really tough. This is literally the hardest thing that I've ever gone through. But there's no anger between us, which, which really helps that we just know that we need to focus on ourselves right now and fill our own cups. Um, so that's what I've been doing. I shared Ethan like to an extent on, on my channel and I shared with you guys a lot of really great moments in our relationship this is purely like my healing journey from this and that's what i'm sharing with you guys um because ethan isn't someone that's on the internet in the same way that i am he respects that i do share my life online and this is what i do as i talk to you guys because you guys are my friends so i'm really grateful that he understands and supports that so like i said ups and downs and waves and flows baby i've been all over the place every single day basically and today um i was just like in bed until 11 and woke up crying and haven't really got myself to do anything because it's two o'clock and i haven't done anything and i'm putting makeup on and i don't have any plans but i just want to go to a coffee shop and read my book and spend time um alone and really just like have a little bit of peace and that's what I've been doing a lot recently is spending a ton, a ton of alone time. And it's actually been amazing a lot of the time. I do get lonely. That happens. It happens a lot. But I 
have really, really been enjoying my own company and I've been making my own space and my mind a beautiful place to live in, being kind to myself and showing love to myself. So going to coffee shops, I just got a book. It's called Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Tell me why I got a Colleen Hoover book when I'm going through a breakup because she just rips my heart out and stomps it and tears it up into little pieces every single time. Um, why did I think I was emotionally stable enough to read her book? I don't know, but I'm doing it. And I've really been enjoying um, having an actual book too instead of like a Kindle or like staring at another screen because I've been staring at screens a lot recently. But going to a coffee shop, reading a book, or just like listening to music, um, scrolling on Pinterest has been really just like a pocket of peace for me. So I've been doing that a lot recently. Put on my new favorite lip combination, Anastasia Beverly Hills Hazelnut and Summer Friday's Lip Butter. This is in no way a makeup tutorial, but I just thought I'd share. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> Even just doing my makeup, I'm like, I'm exhausted. So that means... It's time for our little solo date to the coffee shop, so let's go. I'm excited to read my book and drink a matcha. Thank you. 